A good mystery always interests people, and some never stop until they get answers. Welcome to the channel, and today we'll check out a mysterious discovery by a comedy club owner while they were renovating their decades-old building. Before we begin, subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get notified every time new videos that you like are uploaded. Leave us a comment and give the video a thumbs up. Let's begin! Have you ever lost something valuable and found it after many, many years? It feels like a betrayal, doesn't it? You had to grieve for it, replace it, and move on, right? Or maybe it would feel like you found yourself a time capsule. Something that would trigger good, nostalgic memories. We could misplace anything, including our wallets. Wallets are one of the personal belongings that we commonly lose. And it's the toughest one too because not only do you lose cash, you'd also lose your credit cards, debit cards, reward cards, ID cards, business cards, and so on. If you have them all in your wallet. What's next is you would have to cancel all your credit cards and get ID card replacements, and the whole process is such a big hassle for busy people like you and I. Once you moved on, you would not need that old wallet and you'd be more careful not to lose your new wallet again. And you might even worry about people who steal personal information if they happen to get a hold of your old wallet with IDs in it. But what if the wallet was just around the house, untouched for years, and you happened to unearth it many, many years later? That's what happened to a comedy club owner in Nevada, Iowa, when he came across a 71-year-old wallet. His name was Larry Sloan, and he was curious as to who owned the really old wallet and how it got lodged between the floorboards. Sloan and his friend found the said wallet while the third floor of the comedy club was being renovated. The wallet seemed to have been preserved by the floorboards, keeping the contents and material making it intact. After all, not much activity was happening on the third floor of that old building which used to be a theater in the 1920s. They checked the contents of the wallet to see many items inside, like a Boy Scout card that aged badly with a picture giving it a hint that it is at least seven decades old, at least back to the time of the Second World War. Another item that may confirm this is a couple of food ration stamps that were being used during the Second World War. The person the wallet belonged to may have been young and may have been part of the Boy Scouts. The photos found inside the wallet couldn't confirm this as they faded with age. But with a little analysis, one may presume that they were family photos. The era from which the wallet came from was confirmed by a pocket calendar inside and the year was 1944. The wallet was indeed seven decades at the time of writing. They continued checking everything that's in there, marveling at the olden relics when they finally found an ID card. At the back of it, there was a name written on blue ink on top. The name was Claire McIntosh. Right next to where they found the ID card was a black and white photo of a young man with the name Claire McIntosh written beneath it. They were confident that the wallet belonged to the young man depicted in the photo with the name Claire McIntosh. The next problem was where to find the man. They definitely wanted to return the wallet if he was still alive. After all, the wallet was not in bad condition and its value is in its antiquity and the memories it may bring to the owner. The two friends thought it would be cool to see how Claire would react to this long-lost wallet. The only way to contact him was to look for Mrs. R. E. McIntosh of Colo, Iowa by dialing 8. And nowadays, you will not be able to do that anymore. Sloan was a clever investigator himself. Through his research and analytical skills, he was able to gain more information on who Claire was and how he would be contacted. He thought to himself that Claire must have been in his mid-twenties when he lost his wallet, and he would have been in his eighties, almost ninety years old at the time the wallet was found. Through a number of leads, Sloan was able to make a phone call to Claire. Sloan, being a comedian himself, asked Claire if he lost his wallet. Claire replied he didn't lose his wallet. 
Sloane asked again if he lost one when he was younger. Claire was able to confirm that the wallet was his and agreed to meet up. Claire was already 85 when they met up, and Sloane's calculations were right. In the end, Sloane made an old man happy with a simple act of returning something that truly belongs to him, even after decades, which actually makes it more surprising and nostalgic. Next time you find something old and special, folks try keeping it safe and return it to the owner to make their day. That's a precious memory you will be making. Thanks for watching! Subscribe and leave us a comment about what you think is good and refreshing to see after so many years. As always, we'll see you next time.